how to take value from the quantitative ability part. And so you can click here and see a video which gives an outline on how to prepare for CAT. Or you can click here to get an outline on how to prepare for CAT quant. The quant part both give you uh, a, a, an overview of the quant thing. How am I going to do this? I'm going to talk about the syllabus part. And so each class is a separate entity. Every little bit covered in CAT gets covered. How do I do each separate entity? Suppose I go to percentages. A set of learning chunks available. So I learn each lesson. I click here. I learn this. I learn this. I keep navigating. I go to the next class. I learn everything. Once you learn a bunch of ideas, you come to this wonderful thing called as a checkpoint quiz. Where you can take a test. And, and then you can answer questions and see how you stand, where you stand. Submit the test. See your score. You can see the results for your score, the solution, everything. And now, what the idea behind this checkpoint quiz is, is you learn a bunch of ideas in that topic. I'm going to go back to percentages. Any class in, in within quant is organized as a bunch of learning, learning ideas followed by a checkpoint quiz. And then a bunch more learning ideas followed by a checkpoint quiz. Checkpoint quiz 1 and 2 are designed for learning and consolidating. You've learned an idea, practice two questions on your own, get that learning feeling by, by solving questions yourself, you've consolidated that idea. That is good. The real deal is the prep edge quiz. A prep edge quiz is a tougher quiz. The question is similar to what you will see in CAT. And so these are far tougher or one notch tougher than the checkpoint quizzes. That gives you a sense of, okay, I've prepared for percentages. Am I really ready to take up CAT level questions in percentages? That's what the prep edge questions tell you. So within each topic, there'll be checkpoint quizzes, two of them, and a prep edge quiz, one. So any topic you learn, you should learn the fundas, take the checkpoint quiz, consolidate the ideas, learn the remaining fundas, take checkpoint quiz, consolidate ideas, take prep edge quiz, and then learn where you stand. That is a script. And now, you might need reinforcing with the teaching part or reinforcing with the checkpoint part or reinforcing with the prep edge part. How do you do that? The teaching part is an issue. Go over the course in the videos again. You feel like, look, I've got this. I've got this. I've got the funda, but I just, just need more practice. Then you say, the practice comes according to us in two bunches. One is drill practice, which is, look, get the simple funda, plug in the formula, get the answer. No rocket science, only one idea tested each time so that you get automatically comfortable with a bunch of simple ideas. That is the drill level thing. So you can go to the drill level test, then go to practice test, and you can click on percentages and take these tests. These have a predominantly simple test. Okay? The next level is, look, I've got the hang of this. I feel like I know percentages. I'm able to do all simple questions, but I don't know whether I have what it takes to, to go for the CAT level thing. And the starting point to validate that is a prep edge test. But after you've validated with prep edge, you want to do more and more of CAT level. You feel like, look, I've got percentages. This is fine now, but I want it in the bag. So hit me with a bunch of CAT level questions here. Then you go here to the CAT level questions and then click on percentages and profit and loss and then attempt these questions. These questions are going to be tougher than what you see in your checkpoint quiz or the drill quiz. And they're going to be very similar to what you're likely to face in the exam in CAT. So this gives you a benchmark avenue. After this, you're on your own. You've got to say, okay, I have got the concepts right. I need more simple practice, hit drill. I've got concepts right. I've got simple practice right. Bunch of ideas are automatic. I want to know where I stand. I want to be game ready. I want to do a lot of tough questions and be regeared. Do CAT level. You do CAT level and you get your backside handed to you, you're not really ready, go back to the theory. You feel like you get everything, but you're a little slow, do some more drill. That measuring and pacing of yourself, you should keep in mind. Right? Now, in what sequence should one do one? For each topic, we know the script. What is the overall sequence? I would argue this is, we have arranged it in pretty much the same thing. The first topics are the simpler ones. They're the crucial ones. Percentages, averages, profit and loss, simple and compound interest, linear and quadratic equation up to exponents and logarithm or up to progression. This is basic arithmetic. Get those in the bag. If you, have, if you already don't have strength and weaknesses, these are likely to be the building blocks. So start with these. After this, there is one chunk, which is number theory, 
one chunk which is algebra inequalities functions little bit of exponential logarithm moving in one chunk which is combinatorics and then geometry and allied topics people have a bias towards either for or against geometry my preferred script very clearly first get all arithmetic in the bag then get geometry in the bag geometry trigonometry mensuration coordinate geometry in the bag then do little bit of number system little bit of algebra then finally go to permutation combination you can add set theory clocks calendars anywhere in the middle that's a script if you ask me and so because arithmetic forms give or take half the paper geometry forms another 7 8 questions 25% of the paper so that's crucial get these in you're already competing then go to algebra number system permutation combinations and and the set theory and the slightly off beat ones after that but and get the core in place that will be the script if you want me if you've already done all this and you feel like look i get everything i need to add a little bit of inequalities and fun- functions i want to add permutation probability and then i'm good to go then start with that script the entire course is open anybody can access anything anytime anywhere any number of times so there is no restriction that we have put in the course but take value from it according to your script my suggested script would be to get all the simple ones in the bag then move to geometry then come to number theory and algebra and then round things off that be the script for quant within each topic there are three parts to learning fundas consolidation cat level fundas the learning videos consolidation is checkpoint quiz drill level test cat level is prepage quiz cat level questions wherever you need reinforcements find that do one round and then wherever you find the gap go and attack that